Toronto is a big city with a lot of things to do. And whether you're a local or a tourist, here are the 35 best things you can do while you're in this city. We're starting with an obvious one. It's the city's most popular landmark, the CN Tower. You can see it almost anywhere you walk in Toronto. You can head to the top where you have an amazing view of the city and up there is a glass floor and a restaurant. The next spot we have is right beside the CN Tower, the Rec Room. It's an arcade with a bunch of fun games where you collect points and you can get a prize at the end. There's also axe throwing, bowling, a VR game, and a restaurant. There's a location at Square One in Mississauga as well. Staying in that area, we'll head over to Steam Whistle Brewery. This is a must-see for beer lovers. They usually give out free samples of their beer and you can also book events here. An interesting spot to visit is the Stacked Market. This industrial style place is home to pop-up shops, restaurants, and live entertainment. They have amazing views of the CN Tower here as well. I wouldn't miss this spot. Another spot with amazing views is the parking lot located at 7 Lower Simcoe Street. This is a great spot for getting your iconic CN Tower photo. If you want to see some other great photo spots of the CN Tower, check out my video link below. For cheap eats, head to the warehouse. There's multiple locations around the city. It's $6 for each plate so you can fill up really well here. If you want to head to a beach in the city, check out Cherry Beach. This is a great spot for a beach day and you can get here by TTC. Lots of people go windsurfing here and there's also a big dog park here. But my favorite beach is in Scarborough called Bluffers Park Beach. This is a very big beach and you have a great view of the nearby Scarborough Bluffs, which is the next spot. These bluffs were formed by wind and water erosion from Lake Ontario. They are a really nice viewpoint and you can look at them from either above or below. Parking is free Monday to Friday before 5 p.m. Head over to Polson Pier to visit two of Toronto's most popular nightclubs, Rebel and Cabana Pool Bar. There's also a drive-in theater there and it's another great spot to view the Toronto skyline. Another area that's great to enjoy Toronto's nightlife is around Queen and King Street near Spadina. Popular spots include Lavelle, The Porch, Toy Box, and many more. If you're a hockey fan, head over to the Hockey Hall of Fame. This spot has a lot of cool exhibits and games you can play inside. It's also home to the Stanley Cup throughout the year. If you want to shop, Eden Centre is a great spot. This large mall in the centre of the city has so many shops to choose from. Just outside of this mall is also the popular Young Dundas Square which sometimes has live entertainment. Near the Eden Centre is Toronto City Hall. The buildings themselves look really nice and the Toronto sign is located here. This area is really nice in the winter as well when you can skate on Nathan Phillips Square. To check out Toronto's art scene, head to Graffiti Alley. It's near Queen Street West and it has three blocks worth of artwork. This is a popular spot for photo shoots in Toronto. An interesting thing to check out is the Half House. This home is located at 54 St. Patrick Street. It exists because when they were tearing down the original houses, the Valpos family living in that place did not want to sell their house and it was never torn down. Now it just exists in the city as a Half House. Another interesting house in the city is the Doll House. Located at 35 Burtmount Avenue, this house is made up of many plastic creatures all over it. The owner has been collecting and creating this garden for over 20 years. A fun eating experience is Korean barbecue. There are multiple spots around the city where you grill your own food and the way they season it tastes great. If you want to visit a museum, I suggest going to the Realm. They change their main exhibit every once in a while, but they have lots of interesting artifacts throughout the museum year-round. The Ram is located in Yorkville, which is the next area on this list. If you want to have a nice night out or you want to walk around and look at some bougie stores, this is the area you want to be in. It's also really nicely decorated at Christmas time. Casa Loma is another very interesting place to visit. It was built in the early 1900s and it has multiple secret passageways underground. It also has a really nice garden with a restaurant in it. Head over to St. Lawrence Market for some amazing cheap eats. You have all kinds of food here and you can also buy fresh produce here as well. If you're in the mood for pizza, you're in luck. Toronto has a lot of great pizza places around the city. If you want to know more about the best spots, check out my video about Toronto's best pizza link below. Near the St. Tower is the famous Ripley's Aquarium. There's a lot of cool fish when you walk around here and a lot of great activities to do inside. There's also some cool events that happen at night like sleeping with the sharks. Head down to Harbour Front to enjoy Toronto's waterfront. There's a lot of great places here to just relax and some great food spots too. You also have really great views of the Toronto skyline. From Harbour Front, take the ferry to Toronto Island. 
It's home to an amusement park and a beach. There's also some other fun things to do on the island and there's great views of the skyline as well. Next, we head over to Ontario Place. This is getting renovated and being turned into a big adventure park. But for now, there's a nice park to walk around and you can also rent kayaks here. There's also Budweiser stage where you can watch concerts. Just across the highway from Ontario Place is Liberty Village. This is another nice spot to hang out at night with a lot of bars. It's also a great place to eat before a TFC game. If you're looking for a nice area to hang out in Etobicoke, Humber Bay Shores is where to go. This area is right by the lake and has some really nice restaurants and cafes. There's also a nice park here you can just chill and look at the skyline. Staying in Etobicoke, we have High Park. This park has a zoo and a big playground. This is a really great park to bike or walk around and spend a few hours at. At Yorkdale Mall is the Kit Kat Factory. Here you can create your own Kit Kat bar or try one of their many interesting pre-made bars. The mall also has a bunch of cool stores and restaurants to go to. Distillery District is a nice pedestrian only place that's home to an amazing Christmas market. In the summer, this is a really nice place to walk around as well. There are a lot of restaurants here and really nice art galleries to look at. A nice park in the middle of the city is Riverdale Park. There is a nice big hill that has a great view of the CN Tower and it's a great tobogganing hill in the winter. There's also a farm in the park with lots of animals. Rogers Center is great for catching a cheap Blue Jays game or many other events. It also looks really great in the skyline. The last spot is Kensington Market. It's home to a lot of little shops with cheap clothes and some other great bars as well. That was all the 35 spots, but if you've made it this far, here are some bonus spots. Go to an escape room and try to make it out. There's many around the city for different difficulty levels. Amsterdam Brewhouse is a great spot for drinks right on the water. Labsense has cool liquid nitrogen ice cream that's fun to try. Coast is a great rooftop restaurant in the city. Just outside the city, there's Canada's Wonderland, a big amusement park. And also outside the city are the Shaltenum Badlands, which is a red rock made of Queenston shale. If you're traveling and are in need of a visa, iVisa.com is a safe and reliable website that can get you one. You can also get your passport photo done online for cheaper than it is in person. It'll also let you know if you actually need a visa and you can fill out the application online. Check the link in the description to try out iVisa.com. Please comment what your favorite spots in Toronto are as well as any that I may have missed. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe because it'll help me out a lot and I'll see you in the next one.